You there! Your king would ask for your aid. Aye, it is indeed I! The noble King Arthur Pendragon! You may have heard tell of the time I defeated the evil Black Knight. Well, not the most recent one. The one before that. Indeed. It seems recent events have overshadowed my acts of bravery. Which leaves me no other option. I must slay a dragon. Yes, that is the only sure way to demonstrate my heroism to the kingdom. Alas, your king is a little... out of practice. Perhaps some training by way of a crusade through Chronopolis is in order. Would you grant me your assistance in this matter? Excellent! Then let us away! This world is full of scoundrels. What better use for them than to strengthen my metal? <laughs> Must find bad people. Uh, scare them away. Uh, hark! Enemies approach. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, so your approach is more of a swish flick slice than a slice swish flick. This training is most valuable. I could really use some help here. Over already? I've barely a dewdrop on my brow. It appears I'm inadvertently training what those delightful Manhattanites refer to as their glutes. That big bummer really needs to up ahead of us! More fiends! Let's see. I say, how do you do that thing with your feet? Oh, wait! I think I have it! I feel stronger just by watching you. Not that that's all I was doing, I assure you. On to the next. As those delightful Wakandans say, no pain, no vibrain. Neom. Actually, that might not apply here. Or even be the correct quote. Can feel it in the that giant sword ship falling out of the sky probably doesn't bode well for him. Ooh. Another gathering of villains. How about you? My sword is like an extension of my arm. Now my other arm is like another sword. Ha ha ha! You seen that super? To watch you in combat is a true thrill, akin to that amusing contraption known as the carrier rail. I could have totally been the Iron Fist. Well, maybe if I cut out Dale. Excellent display. I believe one more encounter will be sufficient for today.
Look there! Are those tiny dragons? What better way to train my steel in dragon slaying? Oh. Attack! Oh, this always happens! Ugh, crazy renaissance fairers. Always taking it too far. It would seem the foul creatures have eaten the citizens. Don't worry. Your king shall save you. What are you doing, you crazy mook? No need to thank me. Just doing my kingly duties. Well, I dare say I feel veritably invigorated after that campaign. And what luck that we would encounter those strange miniature dragons. With this experience, I believe I am sufficiently prepared to face a full-size dragon. Assuming Merlin has finished his preparations. At any rate, my thanks for your assistance. Interesting specimen. It's almost time to do my round. Looks like some trouble is brewing where you are. You're like a magnet. Hmm. This is quite the conundrum. I hear you're the one who helped to train our noble king in preparation for his dragon slaying quest. I admire your enthusiasm, but I fear Arthur may have bitten off more than he can chew. Which I doubt will be said of the dragon when it's through with him. Enter the Merlin Stones, which render those who wield them invincible. I had planned to slip them into Arthur's garb before the battle, but alas, I appear to have forgotten when I stashed them. Would you help an old man search for them? Wonderful. I should really have considered how bad my memory was before I hit them all over Chronopolis, but... Well, here we are. Good luck. Too busy. Whoever they got on snowplow duty seriously needs to up his game. It's like driving inside a hotel around here. This is well outside my skill set. Those vile fiends. How dare they? 
Don't worry. There's no major urgency. <sighs> Let's see what we have here. Yes, these appear to be all of the Merlin stones. And what seem to be a couple of pieces of boiled confectionery for good measure. <laughs> How very thoughtful of you. Hmm. The stones feel a little weaker than before. They may not make Arthur invincible, but at the very least, he should flicker back into existence should he meet a grisly fate. And that's certainly better than nothing. Hey, you didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy! I, fair maid Gwenpool, hath accepted the challenge of mentoring the squires of Lego through the perilous uh, bonus quests, privy? That's tough to keep up, so I'll talk all modern like and tell you the tale of King Arthur and the Dragon. <laughs> Are you slouching comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, King Arthur Pendragon was getting all riled up, thinking people were doubting his kingliness. Even though he'd done the whole business with the sword and the stone, and King is like his first name. Naturally, Merlin was like, Cool at your kingship, you're acing the whole king gig. All the peasants are big fans. But his kingliness was all like, maybe, but the only way I'll be a real old school king is if I totally slay a dragon. Difficult to find though, you're an actual dragon. Fortunately, Merlin has an app on his wand that finds local available dragons for the slaying. Hmm, one in the basement of Garrett Castle? Seems a little too easy to me. Could it be a trap? Even if it is, it'll make an awesome boss fight. Where art thou, fiendish dragon? Show thy ugly face! Sire, we must be careful. I sense a great magical presence in the air. Ah! My dear friend Merlin, you forget that I wield the Sword of Excalibur! Magic is no match for the true king of Camelot. But sire... Silence! Whether it be your fancy magic or the flames of a brutish beast, I shall defeat whomever stands in my way to prove that I am the worthy king of these strange lands. Well... Um, yes. Very good, sire. Sire, behold! The dragon is through the gate ahead. We haven't one moment to lose. Then let us make haste, Merlin. It appears the dragon has lured us into some sort of trap. Well, I say to thee, dragon, nay! These spikes are a pitiful foe. Onwards, old friend! How do I get myself in these crazy situations? <laughs> Dragon, feel the wrath of Excalibur. Morgana, I should have known I would find you lurking in such a dark and dastardly place. Tell me, what pathetic schemes have you cooked up in your cauldron pot of witchcraft this time? My dear, dim witted half brother. I'm afraid your time on this world has run out. Now, Morgan Le Fay rules supreme. Finally, I can take my place as the true ruler of... 
Yes, yes, do get on with it. Merlin and I have tickets to the pig jousting this afternoon. Indeed we do, sire. I believe it is time that the great Morgan Le Fay met her match. <laughs> oh, man. Your parlor tricks are no match for my power. It is such a pity. I really wanted to battle a dragon today. Think you can defeat me? this far, but now you shall both meet your doom. You wanted to face a dragon. Well, I can do better than that. Observe! Ha! Better than a dragon? Enough of these childish playground antics, Morgan. Come down here and face me. Very well. But first, I'd like to introduce you to my new pet. Oh, my goodness! What an odd looking fellow. Look out, sire! Oh, dear. <laughs> yes! Yes! Destroy them, my pet! <laughs> Jester's hat, my dear Merlin. This beast may be a colorful foe, but I don't see how such an item could help us win this battle. Hast thou misplaced thy marbles? Nay, sire. Thou must show patience to defeat such an intelligent creature. What a pleasant tune you play, Merlin. Remarkable! Look! The creature dances like a court jester! Stop that! What are you doing? I command you to cease. So Arthur didn't slay a dragon, but he has to be happy with blitzing that Cree sentry into a bazillion pieces, right? And maybe now old Artie will stop worrying about if he's worthy and start actually doing proper king stuff, like... Uh, waving, opening malls, burning spinning wheels. Standard king stuff. Tip of the pointy hat to Merlin, too, for bringing the pain to Morgana. He sure rolled some critical hits on that female MU. What? 
M U, as in magic user? Methinks thou doth need to brush up on ye old RPG lingo.